What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Double A Hef here with another dose of the truth scope. So, this is a rather unfortunate story that we're about to uh, watch. But uh, your actions affect not just you, not just the people that you know, but it can affect people that you don't even know. Let's play this, uh, and I'll just I'll just talk about it as it, as it goes. Monday afternoon in Polk County, setting off a chain of events that would culminate in the deaths of four people. Listen closely as a caller describes seeing a woman being beaten and kidnapped. Somebody has been beating her up and everything. And if I do not stop them, I believe he's going to kill her. I am dead serious. That frantic call would send investigators looking for a black Mazda. It was being driven by this guy, 35-year-old Raquel May Villar Villalona, who had allegedly been assaulting his girlfriend. Once deputies found his car, the sheriff says he took off, at times driving on the wrong side of the road. So the deputy wisely turned... You know what? <clears throat> A lot of these people that, you know, do this bullshit, they, you know, domestic violence, whatever, or whatever, drug, drug charges, whatever, and they try to flee. You know, I'm not sitting here saying, like, just sit there and, you know, take it as a man, you got caught. But that's pretty much what I'm saying. You know, like, there's no reason for you to to cause all of this because some shit that you got going on, especially if it's some domestic shit. Like, cause, cause you're a fucking sensitive ass, you know what I'm saying? You want to put your hands on a woman, you know, and, and don't get me wrong that maybe that's not the case all the time. Cause sometimes these women be acting crazy and maybe the woman that he was beating up, maybe she did something crazy. I don't know. But you know, for him to run away and do something like that, I, 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 I lean to believe that he was out there on some fucking bitch ass shit. So, you know, if that's the case, dude, just, you know, like hand, hand your own shit. No reason to be out here driving all crazy, doing some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's off his lights and disengages the pursuit. He continues to drive southbound behind the vehicle as it flees from the attempted traffic stop. But he does not engage the vehicle. He does not keep up with the vehicle. But he's going in that direction. The sheriff says this camera footage shows just how far behind the deputy followed the Mazda. He says after several miles, Villa Lona would go on to cause a chain reaction crash that the sheriff describes like this. It was total carnage. It's among the worst traffic fatalities we've seen in this county. Along with the black Mazda, three additional... You see that? You see how all these shits is macked up? The 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 um the bottom left that truck doesn't ha see, see, seem like it took too much damage. Uh, the top left that looks like a truck that shit got macked. Obviously, the bottom right I believe would probably be uh, the Mazda that the the, the 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 psycho dude was driving, or maybe the top right. Either or, one of those was his car, and both them shits is macked. Um, <clears throat> now. If, Look, I, I'll tell you how this right now. I drive a pickup truck. I couldn't be in those little cars no more. One. Number two, them just ain't safe, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now I'm in a truck and I'm up high. You know, I, I, I feel safer. And obviously, I've done the, the crash uh, test rating and stuff. And the, the car is good. My truck is good for that. So am I sitting here saying that I'm going to be, you know, always good? No. But you know what? I guarantee you I'll be better off than people in smaller cars so brothers i'll tell you this right now if you have the opportunity to get a, a larger vehicle whether it's an suv or a pickup truck whatever the case may be do it get out these small cars especially if you if you're a big dude then definitely you know what i'm saying but definitely even if you're a small dude i recommend it man because you know what you in a car a lot car accidents happen and you know that shit could take you right the fuck out of this world on some shit that you don't even see coming just like these people right here unfortunately they met their untimely demise. <clears throat> you know, the most high called them up. It is what it is. But, yo, I'm telling you right now, you don't want to be in a situation where, you know, you, you dead and gone off, off the, the bullshit of the next nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I guarantee you, you know, look at the F-150. If the owner of that F-150 died, just imagine that was a Honda Civic. You know what I'm saying? You definitely dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, you probably got a closed casket type shit. So... You know, put yourself in better positions, you know, to, to, to be safe. All right. Definitely. So, again, I'm telling you right now, I drive a pickup truck. Yeah, I got kids. 
definitely you need to make that move. I'm telling you right now, man, because car accidents happen. And a lot of the times the car accidents happen, they're no, they're no fault of your own. You know what I'm saying? It just happens. I know several people, or I knew several people that died in car accidents. Uh, I knew a girl, she died at a um at a stoplight in uh South, one of the Carolinas. Oh no, somehow, some way he done came off and hit her. She died. You know what I'm saying? Dead. Boom. I know somebody, uh, I think it was like less than a year ago, uh went to high school with. And um <clears throat> I believe two of them, two of them died in that crash. They were up in uh New Hampshire, whatever the case may be. This woman, she was driving, she was uh drunk and driving, it was early. Um, she was drunk and driving, and then she went all the way across and hit them head on. You know what I'm saying? They were just up there visiting. They're not even from that area. They're up there visiting, whatever, doing whatever they, they, they were doing. Next thing you know, car comes over, boom. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You know what I'm saying? So literally, your life can be snuffed out in the blink of an eye. So, and it's not even on your fault. You know what I'm saying? They weren't drinking and driving, but that's what, how it happened. So again, uh, put yourself in the best position possible. You know, live to see another day. Cause now this dude did all this, was beating up his girl, got in the car, did all this nonsense, and now he fucking dead. So you a real loser now, nigga, because now what? She gonna be with somebody else. So whatever the fuck had you so emotional to the point where you was doing all that dumb shit, nigga, then how you really gonna feel now? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's stupid. That's the problem, man. These niggas is too emotional out here, don't know how to act. They get so caught up and enraptured with, with women that they don't know what to fucking do. You know what I'm saying? The, the bitch might have fucking just been on her Instagram. The nigga looked at, looked at the phone, and as she was swiping through, it was a nigga on the screen. She didn't even like the picture, no nothing. She, he just saw it, and he flipped the fuck out. Like, that's how it should be happening sometimes with these niggas. I'm telling you. I'm not lying, bro. I am not lying. That is a fact. I'm telling you. And then stupid shit like this fucking transpires from it. So, nah, man. I'm saying this, because obviously the brothers that's on my channel watching this, obviously y'all niggas not going to be the nigga that this nigga was, you know, y'all not going to be that. But I'm saying, like, for y'all, the people on my channel, understand that, hey, you could be doing everything right. And then sometimes some shit was just going to happen. So you have to do the best that you can, you know what I'm saying, to make sure that you be all right. You might be thinking, oh, I could save a couple dollars with if I get the Honda Civic, you know what I'm saying, as opposed to if I get this pickup truck or if I get the um, Ford Explorer. Yeah, you might be able to save a couple dollars, nigga. But, you know, if you survive the damn car accident, right, you might be all fucked up because you was, you know, penny pinching. So now you got to, you know, do physical therapy, rehab, all this shit and surgeries, whatever. So you, you, all that money you saved, you got to spend on that anyway, if you survive it, if you survive it. So, you know, obviously knock on wood. Hopefully none of that happens to nobody, you know what I'm saying, that I know, especially, I don't wish it on anybody, but obviously it's going to happen, you know, we all understand that. So, put yourself in the best position. If you got a lease or whatever case may be, you got car payments and it's almost up, start looking at some, some SUVs, uh, look at the crash test safety ratings, look at some pickup trucks, whatever the case may be, all right? Because, yo, you, you if you value your life, then you have to make decisions accordingly, period, period, all right? So let's play this video. Let's just end. Vehicles, a Ford F-150, a Ford Escape, and a Toyota Tacoma were caught up in it, resulting in the deaths yeah, of... so his was the bottom right then. ...a 38-year-old man and 73-year-old woman who both died on scene. A 48-year-old man later died... A 38-year-old man... A 38-year-old man died due to this dude's actions. A 73-year-old woman died... And he said, if another 48 year old man, died. like I when I think that we become desensitized to a lot of that stuff because it's all always on TV or the Internet. We see it. But take a second to think about it. How old are you? OK, now say your age man died. That's you. That's you. Now, obviously, you know, I'm still here. You're really still here. You know, we're still living. We're still going on. But you know what? Prior to that dude's terrible decisions, that 38-year-old man was alive. He had goals. He had plans. He had a life. He had a family. He had a mother. He had a father. He had friends. He had a job. Everything that you have. Maybe more. Maybe a little bit less. Okay, I hope y'all get what I'm, what, I, what, I'm, what I'm trying to paint here at the hospital. Their identities are not being made public. Villa Lona died on scene as well. With his crazy, wild, out of control actions because he wanted to beat and injure his girlfriend, did not want to stop when the deputies tried to stop him.
Now, the sheriff says had he survived the crash, he would have been facing multiple felony charges, including three counts of vehicular homicide. We can also report tonight the... Uh, the driver's girlfriend was not in the car when the crash happened. She was at a local hospital. She is said to be doing okay. She, however, is not cooperating with the investigation, according to the sheriff. Linda That's interesting. And that tells me that there's way more to the story than um, for her not to cooperate. Uh, but I'm sure they'll probably be able to get something out of her somehow, some way. Uh, but, you know, th this was just so senseless. So senseless. Uh... And I try not to be grim on this channel, obviously. Uh, but, you know, that's reality, you know, and this is the true scope. So I have to keep it real. I have to keep it the truth. The truth of the matter is that dude is a bonehead. All right. And just by face value, he's emotional and he's not a man. All right. Period. So, brothers, you have to operate as a man. When you operate as a man, you don't find yourself in weird ass situations like that. Um like for that guy but obviously you could be a man and be driving your pickup truck or your Honda Civic and have and cross that dude's path that's that 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 can happen unfortunately all right so again we just have to put ourselves in the best position to be able to survive such instances and encounters all right but that's pretty much it y'all please do me a favor like share subscribe all that good stuff let me know what you think in the comments peace